showtime. Welcome to JC Nation. I'm Christian. And I'm Jackson. And today, we're going to be talking about infrared, infrared light. light. Infrared light is invisible electromagnetic radiation. The reason you can't see it with your naked eyes... Naked eyes. ...is because on the spectrum of light, from white to red, infrared light is just past the red part of the spectrum. Which means <laughs> that the wavelength is longer than the rest of the light. So we can't see it. So we can't see it. Because... We can only see white to red. William Herschel was an astronomer and a musician, and he discovered infrared light while testing the effects of different filters and different things on sunlight. So he had a he had a prism. So basically what a prism is, is you shoot light into it and it makes a rainbow on the other side. So it shows the whole spectrum of light. All of the light. All of the light. And so he had a prism. Yeah, prism. And he put it into the sunlight, sunlight. And the light that came out, he found that when he took his thermometer and put it past the red part of the spectrum, it got way hotter than it did when he was putting it on the white part of the spectrum. So he found that red was hot, but right after it was even hotter, yeah. which confirmed the existence of an invisible light that can't be seen by the naked eye. Uh, this happened really early in science, so people didn't really know what it was at that time. And, and it was, he found it in February of 1800, yeah. which is like so, 215 years ago. And now infrared light is used to figure out uh, the gas that's in stars. So we can look at, uh, a, like say, a star, and it'll, we can find out if there's hydrogen, oxygen, helium, any kind of gas inside a star. By using the, the type of light that's yeah. coming out of it. It's also used quite often in, in remotes, TV remotes, because it's it's invisible it's and invisible. it works really well as a receiver and a sender. The way that the remote works is it sends a certain frequency of the infrared light kind of flashing, and you can yeah. sort of see that when you have a if you have a remote and you point it at a camera. Cameras can detect infrared light yeah. when you shine it on in. It shows up as sort of a purple light. Yeah, phones won't be able to see it. Camera like DSLRs will be able to see it, however, because they do not have a infrared light filter on them, but phones do. Another place where infrared light is very common is within the Earth's atmosphere. The way that the greenhouse effect works is light comes in, this is with infrared light, infrared light comes in from the sun and it comes in the Earth's atmosphere and spreads out a little bit and then it goes into clouds and it spreads out some more and then the earth absorbs some of it, heating it up, and then some of the energy bounces back into the atmosphere and so on and so forth, yeah. and it, it kind of radiates and that creates a greenhouse effect. Yeah, and uh, infrared light is also used in uh, night vision goggles, and all, the, and all night vision goggles is they pick up infrared light, so all the light that's around you gets sent in and it comes in as a digital image so it looks like you're because seeing... the camera can yeah detect it, that infrared yeah, so light, it's but your eyes picking can't. up it's picking up everything around it and even though there's no light so that's how infrared works it just comes in infrared light goes into the sensors it gets converted and then you see it just like a camera a green yeah so this has been JC Nation I'm Jackson and I'm Christian and our next video is going to be a gaming video so we'll see you next time see you next time